Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Las Vegas Casino Podcast. Um, the reason why I'm making this particular podcast is because that trip that I was talking to everyone about a couple of days back, that's actually my trip here to Las Vegas. I'm making this video right now here in Las Vegas and I'm having a pretty good time. This time I, I am staying at the Luxor in the actual pyramid itself. Those of you that haven't stayed at the Luxor, it's a pretty good place. Not the highest of the hotels, but then again, not the lowest. But in my case, whatever's free works best. So that's the best thing that I look for uh, with regards to that. And with this particular trip, I'm implementing that strategy from the book that I recommended a couple of videos back. Um, this one, check it out when you have a chance. It's the one that I had mentioned earlier, Mike's Guide to Better Slot Play. And check out that podcast, and the stuff works. The first day, I didn't really make... A, too much money I lost a little bit but the whole point of the book was to limit the losses and then today I recouped those losses and I made some more and I've already stopped for the day because that's another thing the book recommends is once you reach a certain point stop as tempting as it is to continue stop it completely because you will lose the money afterward so again check out that podcast with this particular podcast I want to talk about an article that I read just before my trip here and it had to do with the notion that Las Vegas is actually running out of water I've included the link for the article here check it out when you have a chance but it's true Las Vegas is going in a place where there could be out of water by a couple of decades from now estimated to be about mid 2030s or so and the main reason for this is several fold for starters the Las Vegas experienced a huge population growth back before the recession a lot of people moved into the town back when it was doing really really well and when that happened it started draining Lake Mead um, it's interesting to find out all this info too Lake Mead is pretty much the only source of water for the entire town it's about 90 percent of a of the supplier and Lake Mead ever since it was made back in the 1930s it had an estimated four trillion gallons of water to use but with the population boom that Las Vegas experienced that lake is now down to two trillion apparently the locals here know about this very well they know about the many islands that are starting to form on Lake Mead those mounds of dirt that are now visible that weren't before in the past and so they know about this situation and Las Vegas is trying to remedy it by making sure that they can tap as much water as they can from Lake Mead because another problem comes from the fact because I was mentioning earlier that the stuff was, was several fold the second problem is that the water levels if they go below a certain amount like roughly about a thousand feet or so then the water that goes into Hoover Dam will become an issue running Hoover Dam because the pipe levels that were created decades ago were not set to the bottom of Lake Mead as strange as that sounds instead they were set to a thousand feet above and so now they're running into that situation where Lake Mead currently stands at about a thousand eighty seven feet above sea level once it starts getting below a thousand feet then that's when the problem comes to them and apparently there's a huge drill that's trying to uh, create a new pipeline to the water to the very bottom level but that pipeline is taking a long time it's going to be estimated the end of next year to finish it's a very costly item too so that'll be a temporary solution but otherwise they'll still run out of water because the population doesn't look to go down here in Las Vegas so they're trying to have other aquifers tapped maybe even as far as California apparently whatever the uh, coast is there and even here on the local level I was reading that some of those temporary solutions are people are encouraged homeowners they're encouraged to not have grass anymore in fact they're encouraged by the square foot the city gives them credit for all the grass that they uh, that they voluntarily remove from their yard so I looked for that when I was flying in to see and sure enough there's plenty of homes that I saw and I didn't see this before because I wasn't paying attention but now that I am 
there's plenty of homes there that are completely barren of grass not because of any kind of drought but because the entire grass was removed from the homes so they get a good credit if they keep that up at the sacrifice of not having a greeny type pasture around their home but fascinating article check it out when you have a chance I've included the link below you'll be able to read the information yourself and yeah if there's not a solution then within the next coming years then on down the line um, then by mid 2030s then it'll become a real big problem if not sooner with regards to that water level and Hoover Dam so alright everybody thanks again as always take care